You know, there are so many great options for editing videos on an iPad these days, especially with an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil, which I just recently got and I'm loving it. And what I'm finding is using the iPad Pro for editing and all sorts of other things in my business, I'm able to still be productive while also being present with my family instead of being like holed up in my office. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best options for editing videos on your iPad or iPad Pro, and one in particular that is really powerful and definitely my favorite. But one of the best things about being able to edit videos on your iPad is the fact you can do it from your couch. So let's head over there. You know, for a long time, computers are really the only way to create and edit videos and you know, run a business. But that's not really the case anymore, is it? Of course, you may have the desire to kind of lock yourself away in a room undisturbed to have some really good screen time to create and edit your content, but sometimes that's just not possible with the stage of life that you're in and that's okay. And in that case, the iPad Pro and some of these video editing apps are the perfect thing for you to be able to continue to take action in your side hustle or online business even when you are in this busy stage. Now, if you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and this YouTube channel is dedicated to helping your side hustle thrive with video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button now so you can become the boss of your own future. And I've been using my iPad Pro for, I don't know, about a month now and I am totally loving it. I've been planning and scripting my videos with the Notion app and the GoodNotes 5 app, which I also use as a digital uh, planner and bullet journal. So I love having this productive mobility of the iPad Pro. But what about editing videos on the iPad? Is it really possible? Like how does it actually work? Well, I do prefer to sit at my desk with a big screen. However, there's some really powerful video editing apps here on the iPad that you might just prefer to use altogether. So I have this little dongle here that's a USB-C. It goes right in the side of the iPad and then I can just insert my memory card to pull the files off. Now I just pulled off a couple of files from this shoot here so that I can show you how this works without doing a full video edit. So if you just open up the app store and search video editing, you're gonna find a whole bunch of options here. And the three that I have used that I would recommend that you check out, number one, iMovie. iMovie is on your Mac, it's on your phone, it's on your iPad. It's very simple, it's very basic. It gets the job done. And if you're totally brand new to editing videos, it's probably the simplest app that you can start using. So try iMovie if you're totally brand new. If you are in the Adobe Creative Cloud family and you have a subscription, then Rush is a really good option for you. Now, one of the really cool things about Adobe Premiere Rush is that you can start editing videos on your iPad or your phone and then open them up in Premiere Pro on your desktop to kind of finish them up. And I think that's really clever. It's a really great way to have a workflow where you're maybe out and about with your iPad and you can't get to your computer until later, but you wanna start getting those videos edited. The downside is Premiere Rush is not free. You do have to have a subscription either to the full Adobe Creative Cloud suite of programs or you can pay for a subscription just to use Rush. And it is very simple to use. It's pretty straightforward. It's really powerful, but there's not so many bells and whistles that it's like overly complicated. I really like Rush. I highly recommend it, but it's not my all-time favorite because my favorite is LumaFusion. LumaFusion is really where it's at with editing videos on your iPad. I wanna give you the basics of how to get started with this and show you how easy and how powerful it is. So I think LumaFusion costs about $20 or so in the app store, but it's so worth it. So let me show you what I mean here. This is already a video that I had edited. So we're gonna start a new project down here on the bottom left. We'll just call this, uh, let's see, we'll call it test, done. So we're gonna do a 30 frame rate, a 16 to nine landscape. So you could do all of these different uh, aspect ratios, but we're gonna do a YouTube video here. So we'll keep it on landscape, hit that plus button. And I don't need to do that. Now over here, I need to import some of my media. So we're gonna come over here to files and this is gonna look up the files on my iPad that I just imported through my memory card. 
just gonna pull these in from files and then we can select, let's see, we'll go to browse and then uh, locations. We want the files that are on here. I just threw them into that one folder. Let's see, we wanna select this, 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 and this. So we have all of them in there. Now we have our media and all we have to do is just select it. We can pull it right down to our timeline. Let's see, I've got my french fries. We're just gonna kind of edit our B-roll here a little bit. I'm gonna put the oven. So usually what I do is I just put everything down on the timeline and then edit it after. So you can see if we can, we can zoom out here and then you can see this whole clip over here, um, which is really nice. So one of the cool things about LumaFusion is it's really powerful, but it's also really simple. A lot of the um, extra bells and whistles are sort of hidden down here in this little toolbar area at the bottom, but just the scissor tool here will just make a basic, a basic cut. You can have, you know, if you have something selected, you can just hit the trash can and delete it. You can also drag the ends to do a trim instead of cutting. So let's say if I want to trim this right at like this moment here where I go to put the french fries in the oven, I can leave that scrubber bar there and just pull this over just like that. And probably stop it right about there so we can trim this side too. So and then I'm out here at the grill. We could cut this and then just delete this little this little portion right here. We can get rid of that. Now, if I wanted to do something different, have some effects or something, there are some effects like black and white or this little twirl thing, which are those are kind of ridiculous. So I don't really need that twirl thing there, but. I can hit undo there and just go back, but your effects are all under here. You can also duplicate a clip. You can have these multiple layers, just like you would with like a nice robust video editor. So you can do some really great stuff with your B-roll here. So it's definitely something that you can get started with as a total beginner, or you can go a little more in depth and create some really and more robust YouTube videos. There's no more excuses now that I don't have a powerful enough computer or powerful enough software. Get yourself an iPad Pro, download LumaFusion, and uh, watch my full tutorial on how to get started with LumaFusion, which I'll link to over here.